Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Tauri here today. I'm very excited to be here with you. Um, so we are going to be starting with, it's time to start the day. It's time to start the day. It's time to give a great big cheer. Hooray! And then be on our way. Well, good morning, boys and girls. I hope everybody's watching and let's see who is here today. Let's go over some names. All right, boys and girls. Let's see who is watching today. Is Juliana in the house? Hello, Juliana. Is Preston in? Hello, Preston. Natalia? Hi, Natalia. Harper? Hello, Harper. Graham? Hi, Graham. Connor? Hello, Connor. Emery? Hi, Emery. Ryan? Hello, Ryan. Rudy? Hi, Rudy. Owen. Hello, Owen. Mila. Hi, Mila. Kate. Hello, Kate. Khan. Hello, Khan. Gray. Hello, Gray. Ford. Hi, Ford. Emma. Hello, Emma. Eve. Hi, Eve. Ava. Hi, Ava. It's so nice to see you all here. I'm glad that you are all watching. We're going to be doing circle time. So let's start with our weather, boys and girls. Um, as you can see, our froggy is wearing something different today. Why is he wearing that cool blue sweatshirt? Well, because today is a little chilly and it's it's windy today so he decided to change his clothes to something cozier and it's gonna keep him warm so the weather today boys and girls if you can look out your window you're gonna see that the wind is blowing and all the branches and the leaves are moving so we're going to be putting our things up because today is windy it is also a cloudy day so we'll put our clouds up so we're gonna put our windy up here because this today's weather is it's also cold it was rainy yesterday but there was a, a little bit of rain going on this morning and cloudy okay so our froggy has his chart right here that says today's weather is, and we have a special arrow, and this arrow can turn to where the weather is supposed to be. So we're gonna turn this arrow to where it is windy. And as you can see, we have put our arrow on windy. So just when you go outside, please be careful. Also be outside with a parent, a mom, dad, an older brother, sibling that is can they can make sure that you are safe and um, you can go outside and collect some um, some leaves if you like and then you can do some sorting something fun to do inside um, because it's just a good activity all right boys and girls let's move on to our uh, calendar and we've been discussing that we are in the month of April and April begins with the letter A. A for April. So let's see, get our seven fingers out and let's do our seven days of the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Are we ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so boys and girls, yesterday was Tuesday. So today is, starts with a little W, today is Wednesday. Wednesday, April, we're not sure what that missing number is yet, so we must first count. And I need you all to be my helpers. Are you all ready to count? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you're doing a good job, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and who knows what that number comes after 21. That's right, it's 22. So we're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna show you. 22, so now we're gonna find our matching 22. And I'm gonna show you this 22 is the same as this 22. Now 22, it is a two and a two. So we're gonna put the 22 on our calendar. Because today is Wednesday, April 22 or 22nd. And we're gonna put our little clip, this little clip on. The clip goes on for Wednesday, because now that's the day of the week. All right, boys and girls, awesome job with that. We have now done our calendar, we've done the weather, and let's work out on the alphabet. All right, boys and girls, as you can see up here, we have the word alphabet. And alphabet begins with the letter A, just like April. So A, L, P, H, A, B, E, T. And as you can see, the word alphabet has the uppercase A, because it's the first letter in the word alphabet. And Wednesday, same thing, this is the uppercase W. So let's talk about what the letter of the week is. Who remembers what the letter of the week is? Yeah, that's right, it's the letter Z. Here's the letter Z. And we have the uppercase Z, and we have the lowercase Z. And I, the other day, we did a poem with the letter Z. So we're gonna go over our poem today, and then we're gonna read it, and then you can find all the letter Zs on our poem. Z, Z, Z is for Zelda, who zoomed off to Mars. She zigged and she zagged past a zillion bright stars. She zapped to the right, then Zelda zoom home by the moon's golden light. And as you can see on this poem, we have lots and lots of letter Z's. The word Zelda, zoomed, zigged, zagged, zillion, zipped, zoom. All those words begin with the letter Z. All right, we talked about how we've been working on practicing on putting on our, pulling up our zipper. And I hope you're doing a great job with that. I look forward to seeing how many children are able to zip up their own jackets. By now, everybody should be able to put their own jackets by themselves. Remember, we do up and over. You gotta up and over, you gotta flip it, and then you put it on, then you zip up your jacket, that way, your mommy and daddy doesn't have to help you because you are now almost four years old or four years old already and you can do it all by yourself. Okay, boys and girls, let's go over our letters of the alphabet. The alphabet. We have our letter I. We have the letter J. L. B, very good. I want you to all shout out the letter if you know what the letter is. And we're gonna go over, so we're gonna keep practicing our letters so we can recognize them and then we can write them as well. W, T, D, A, C, F, G, K, X, M, N, very good, 
O, P, the letter V, U, S, Q, Y, R, E, I believe that's it, boys and girls. You guys did a nice job with your letters. Okay, boys and girls, let's go over a special book that I've had here. This special book is called Moo. And we're gonna go over some animals because we're working on farm animals. So I'm just gonna open the book and I just wanna show you the names of what the animals, when you have a, a mom and a dad, you have, they have their name, mom and dad, and they have their first name. But these animals also, you have to, they have special names for the babies as well. It says moo. Okay, so here we have, as you can see, these are the what? Does anybody know what these are? These are sheeps. And look at all these sheeps, right? So look over here. The babies are called lambs. These are the grown-up sheep, and these are the babies, the lambs. These are the woolly sheeps. And then you have your chickens, you have your hen, you have your rooster, and you have your chicks, the baby chicks. See them? And what do they do? They cluck, cluck, and they eat corn. You have your, your mommy and daddy pig, as you can see right here. And then you have your babies, and these are piglets. These are the piglets. They do like to lay in mud to stay nice and cool. All right, there you go. We have our cow. And our cow, the baby's called the calf. Okay, we have the big mama cow right here. And what do they do? Does anybody know what they make, what noise they make? That's right, they go moo. And as you can see, the udders are being pulled. And when you pull them, you're able to get milk. I'm gonna show you how we pull them and we get some milk. And of course, the kitten likes milk, as so do you too. Okay, we have our mummy duck, and we have the drake, and we have our ducklings. These are ducklings, and the ducklings go quack quack. And a lot of you probably have a rubber ducky. And then you have our what? We have our goats, and the goats. The little tiny baby ones are called kids. And here they are. They like to eat some hay. And then you have your horse. And of course, you have your baby. And look at all the animals in the farm. We're having so much fun working with animals on the farm. And I hope you're having a good time working on your packet because all those packets are great to work on your writing and counting and uh, just keep practicing on your letter Z. Okay, boys and girls, awesome job. It was great being here with you today and I'll see you again tomorrow.